I used to do a lot of fishing. Quite often see guys metal detecting on the beach and always quite interested in what they have found. Did a bit of research, found out that you could actually uh, find stuff in fields, which never really occurred to me, so I just started um, trying to get permission to go in some fields and, and started from there really. It's got the same appeal, it's the same with fishing, you never quite know what uh, what size fish is around the corner, it's the same with uh, the hobby of detecting, you never quite know what you're going to find next. Most of the time it's rubbish and ring pulls, but uh, every now and again you find something quite special. We've got thousands of years of history. Um, the last 2,000 years with um, with metalwork, of course, we you know we've had invaders, we had Vikings, we've had Saxons, Normans, etc. And um, each little piece of metalwork is part of this country's history, really, and it's uh, it's just fascinating. It's a field like any other big field. There's, there's a little bit of luck involved. You've, you know, with a metal detector, you've actually got to walk over the object to find it. And um, I did a bit of research beforehand. Just fancied the look of the field. It, it just seemed like it was the sort of place that people may have used for uh, hundreds of years. And off I went. It's rare in this country, but even rarer in Devon. To find a to find a Roman coin in Devon, it's uh, it's pretty unusual, and to find so many in in such good condition. The British Museum described it as uh, one of the biggest fourth-century collections of coins found in the entire Roman Empire, which is absolutely fantastic, especially for Devon. Could I, could I find something more important? I'm not sure I could really. I think uh, it's, as, it's as good as it gets. For me, the significance of this hoard is that it's a brilliant object to tell stories with. And that, as I see it, is one of the main jobs of the curator. We take these objects that are stored in the museum and then we try and research what stories they can tell and then communicate those to as wide a public as we can. This hoard is in a way a dream for doing that. 22,888 coins. It's by far the biggest to ever have been found in Devon and it's the third biggest in Britain. So it is, you know, it's a really significant archaeological find. It's got the human story, the mystery of who buried it and why. And then it's got big geopolitical stories, you know, what was going on in the Roman world? How big was the Roman world at that time? Ram is, in Exeter, Exeter is the, you know, the local big city for this part of the world and that was the case in in roman times as well so you know almost certainly the coins were in some way connected to roman exeter they're now connected to modern exeter I think it's very lovely that we found something that important in this area here and it's also really great that we can keep it in the area so we can show it the people of East Devon where it was found. It's really interesting because it's a challenge of how do you conserve it. There's a lot of coins fused together. You have to be quite careful moving it around because it is quite possible that some of the coins will kind of fall off the big clump and also it's quite tricky cleaning it because you've got a lot more undercuts and little corners that you need to get into. Keeping these clumps together is sometimes quite interesting because it either can indicate this was one bag of coins so they kind of are one unit that was buried for example the the clump that i've been working on you can see quite nicely that some are little stacks that have just slided across so it might tell you something about how it was kind of buried and in what kind of 
units. On a personal level, it's really interesting getting the experience of doing these kind of public engagement workshops. We will clean those coins with the help of a lot of volunteers. A-level students, metal detectorists, members of the public here in, in RAM. So that's going to be really interesting. Um, it's also kind of me getting out a little bit of, of my lab because normally I work behind the scenes and people rarely see me. So um, I'm looking forward to that.